And I'm doing YouTube. <laughs> I was going on YouTube, one only x ray here. Today, oh boy, today's a day. It's a good day. Where we're at? On Inamoto. Picking up something special. Let's go inside. Not only that, though. Who else prints out a picture and signs it? Go do some paperwork. Okay, so we have all that paperwork, that sign, that sign, that sign, that sign. We're done. Nice. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Yes. The man, the myth. The on any moto. Well, here she is. 419 RSV4, 1100 factory. And all of her flat, matte, and black glory. Oh man, she's such a mean looking machine. So happy to finally get Aprilia in the stable. It's still a V4, but it's a different type of machine and I'm really excited to kind of play with it a little bit. We're gonna do some things in this that I don't normally do to a Ducati, just because I feel like it's a perfect platform to kind of add little trinkets here and there and kind of make her a beast and beautiful. And ultimately, this really couldn't have come to fruition if I didn't have the awesome group here at On Any Moto to get this bike together to get everything squared away and paperwork done and probably about five minutes. Can't beat it. So if you're in Tucson, you're in Arizona, hit up on any moto and see what they have in store for you. Finally, we have an Aprilia in the toy box. So good. So excited. Oh man. I kept coming back to this bike and Mr. Half 520. I kept coming back to this bike. You know, uh, when I was searching for the next replacement for the 1199, I wanted to do something other than a Ducati. And it's very hard for me because I do love me a Ducati. And I wanted to keep it Italian, naturally. So it was between the RSV4 and like an MV. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the MV that uh, I was most interested in. So, <laughs> I haven't settled for this. Now this, I, like I said, I kept coming back to it. There weren't many faults that I found with this bike. And I, I enjoy the shit out of it. It is just an incredible riding machine. And the sound it makes. And like I said, this is just a slip-on, so... So it's only going to get better once I get the full Acura titanium exhaust on it. Which, I'm going to take you guys along with me on this journey of my own personal bike build. No, this is not going to be auctioned off. <laughs> I love this bike, it's mine, therefore I'm making it how I want it. I'm going to play with this one a little more than I do the Ducatis. And... Mainly because I just love how Ducatis are made. I don't like doing anything to them. And I love how this is made, but I feel like I can go even bigger with it. And quite frankly, the parts aren't nearly as pricey as with Ducati, which is silly because they're the same fucking quality, but boppity boopity. <laughs> oh man. Real excited. Very happy. <sighs> Like I said, things just kind of work out the way they're supposed to, and this this ex was exactly that case. Oh man, new bike smell. The all black with the winglets and everything. Another thing that drives me to certain bikes is um, how often you see them. And as much as I love my Ducati V4, especially the Speciale, is but the downside is I see V4s all over the fucking place now. They're kind of like the S1000RRs where 
people get the bases, base models or the S's and while they're not insanely expensive, you know, they're a lot more affordable, which is, you know, great, but I just see them a lot more. You don't see a ton of Aprilias and you're sure as fuck not gonna see a ton of these 1100 factories, at least where I'm at, so I like that. I like, I don't see being unique, but not having a shit ton of the same type of bikes out there. Chick is really loving her Miata. So here we are, and I can't wait to get all the brake in done. I can't wait to get the exhaust put on, the rear sets. I am going to, I am going to uh, hopefully get it broken into a point, and then uh, take her out to the track with a speciale and kind of beat on them back to back and finish my break-in period on the racetrack which um, was advised to me as a good idea because <laughs> these bikes are meant to be ridden and it's very true <laughs> nice <laughs> another new bike owner how badass is that that's fucking cool I like that bike ah, it's so stable So one of the things that I was kind of used to in the uh, Ducati is the first gear and it's like a surface street when you turn onto it there's a lag to it uh, there's a lot of slop and throttle to where nothing happens this doesn't have that slack so I gotta get used to riding the bikes they they feel different they really do I gave it to put a lot of miles on this bad boy and get her broken in so she's ready to rock and roll. The mirrors, the mirrors fucking work. <laughs> They're so stable. <laughs> oh man. So I bought it, it's like a 10 miles on it. I'm actually the one to put nine of those miles on there. So really I've, I've had this bike since mile one. So it's pretty cool. Oh geez. Again, the team of on any moto, so good. James, you know, he, he's a sales guy he handles a lot of stuff and quite frankly he's a good dude like I said that whole shop are they're just so good at each other in, individual tasks that you, you really enjoy talking to them because they'll talk motorcycles they'll they'll talk racing they'll talk anything the owner Bob everything they'll talk to you about motorcycles they're just great people and you know, you think all oh, they're that way to you because you buy the bikes you do. No, I've seen people there that have bought uh, a older Scrambler or they bought one of the used bikes and they treat them the same way. And to me, that goes a long way. I mean, hell, they, they printed out a picture with a dog on it, thanking us for buying this bike and they all signed it. And that may seem trivial and silly to, to most, but to me, that's a little, personal touches that people do that resonate with me the most anybody can go out and buy you something anybody can go and, and make a you know make it more impersonal than that but i'm simple when it comes to stuff like that just it's good stuff i, I great people i can't say enough good things about them and if you're in the area in arizona hell anywhere else and you want to sh have something shipped to you Hit them up on any moto. That's my little rant. I'm gonna go get some meat, some lunch, because I'm freaking hungry. I uh, hope you enjoyed our little video here, the new toy. And I look to go on more adventures with you all on this beast. Because it, it is a beast. <laughs> Alright. Y'all have a good one. I'm out. <laughs>